to show you the difference between the remainder theorem and the factor theorem. We're working towards being able to solve any equation. Now up to now you've only been able to solve quadratics that have something with a power of 2 in it. But now we're going to build that up so you can solve something that has a power 3, power 4, power 5. This is the polynomial written in function notation um, that we're going to analyze. The remainder theorem says that if I take this polynomial and replace the letter x by any number, let's say negative 2, then what I'm finding is what is the remainder if I divided the polynomial by x plus 2, the opposite of that sign there. Okay, so to find p of negative 2, then what I do is I write out the equation, and wherever I see the letter x, I put a bracket. Okay, and then in the bracket, I put negative 2. Let's work out what we get here. We get negative 8, 3 times 4 would be plus 12, negative 16 times negative, 30, uh, negative 2 is positive 32, and plus another 12. So that gives me 4, 36, that gives me an answer of positive 48. So what that's saying is that if I took this equation, this polynomial here, divided it by x plus 2, I would have a remainder of 48. That's what the remainder theorem says. Okay. Now let's see how it, the factor theorem differs. It's, it, it's really the same idea. This time I'm going to take the polynomial and replace all of the x's by plus 2. So instead of uh, finding the remainder when I divide it by x plus 2, it would now be the remainder when I divide it by x minus 2, because I take the opposite of that. So let's see what p of plus 2 works out to. Now first of all, I'm going to write the equation out. Wherever I see the letter x, I'm going to put a bracket. And then inside here, I'm going to put plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Okay, this time it gives me plus 8, and plus 12, and minus 32, and plus 12. 8 and 12 is 20, take away 32 is negative 12, and plus 12 means 0. So what that tells me is I have a remainder equal to 0. Okay, therefore, what I have is this thing, x minus 2, must be a factor. And if you remember our quadratic formulas and our quadratic equations, one of the things we always looked for was how can we factor it. So using the, factor th the remainder theorem, we're going to find that, that the remainder, in this case, was a 0, and the factor theorem says that if the remainder is 0, then that thing is a factor. And remember that thing is the exact, it's the opposite of what you have put in there. So if you put in a plus two, that'd be x minus two is your factor.